Although the wrestling team faces ranked opponents here at University Gym almost every weekend, they still draw a tiny fraction of the crowd compared to the basketball team at Assembly Hall. Coach Goldman had much to say about this. Yeah, I mean, we are, uh, uh, you know, within the Big Ten or even in the past, we've been, you know, maybe ninth or tenth in the Big Ten, but we've always been, uh, but, you know, we're always one of the top teams in the country as well. The Big Ten is just so incredibly competitive, and, and we would love for more people to, to know where we're at and to be able to find, uni find University Gym and get over here and watch us compete. Uh, we know what we're up against with, with basketball and the other sports that are going on this time of year, and, and uh you know, we, we just encourage people to come because our matches are exciting and, our, and our, I think our athletes are, uh, you know, they, it's, I think it's the toughest sport there is and they, and they try hard and they, they bleed and they sweat and they, they win and they lose out there as an individual and, and uh, it's just, it's actually unfortunate for the people that miss it because they're missing a great show. Although the university gym holds 2,500, the wrestling team only draws about 200 fans per every match. The next time the Hoosiers will be seeing a large crowd is at the Big Ten Championships in East Lansing, Michigan. Reporting from University Gym, Kirsten Allison, Hoosier Sports Night. So far in the Big Ten wrestling season, IU ranks seventh in the conference at 3-3 three and three with a 12-4 overall record. Leading the pack is number one in the nation, Minnesota, with an unblemished 6-0 mark in conference play. Other than the Gophers, the six teams ahead of the Hoosiers still remain within striking distance. Hot on Indiana's tail in 8th and ninth place are Michigan State and Northwestern. Michigan and Purdue fill out the bottom of the conference and are still looking for their first Big Ten victories. IU returns to action on Friday, February 16th in East Lansing, where they'll face number 20 Michigan State. Then the Hoosiers will wrap up the regular season in Madison on Sunday against number 7 Wisconsin. We're only a month into the spring semester and we already have one Hoosier sports team who just won a Big Ten title. Last weekend, the women's swimming and diving team dominated the rest of the conference to win their first Big Ten title since 03. The Hoosiers finished with a score of 715.5, while Michigan and Penn State finished a distant second and third with 562 and 537.5, respectively. Junior Christina Lucas set a new school record in winning the platform, giving her, her the clean sweep in the diving events and adding a Diver of the Championships honor to go along with her Diver of the Year award. Freshman Presley Bard won her first career individual title in the 200-yard backstroke and was named Big Ten Freshman of the Year. Sophomore Allison Kay also won her first career individual title in the 200-yard butterfly with a time good enough for second in the IU record books. The Hoosiers had six women named to the All-Big Ten first team and three to the second team. Swimming coach Ray Luz and diving coach Dr. Jeff Huber were each named Coach of the Year. Luz's first time being honored and Huber's fourth. The Hoosiers will host the IU Last Chance Invitational this Saturday as their last meet prior to the NCAAs. Now randomly moving on to football news, we spoke with Coach Hep last week about the big signing day. Let's go out to Memorial Stadium with more on that. As I said, uh, the president called on his way to the airport and he was kind of feeling me out. Are you okay? Are you okay? I said, Dr. Herbert, you know me. Is the glass half full or half empty? It's half full, and I'm going to drink it. Coach George has no excuses for not having one of the best defensive lines, not only in the Big Ten, but in the nation. Because they're, as a group, they're a part of this quality depth I'm talking about. Because we like to play a lot of D linemen. We need versatility. We got that, didn't we? How many times did we use that word today? Everybody know how to spell it? This class is a combination of either further developing our quality depth or in some cases those who are physically far, uh, far enough along, who are talented enough, who are emotionally equipped to handle it, will get an opportunity to participate early. Now let's go back to the hard court for an update on the women's basketball team. Last Thursday, the Lady Hoosiers just could not seem to find their shot in a losing effort at Wisconsin, going down 60-53. to The first half was a defensive struggle, with the Badgers holding the slight 19-17 to edge at the half. IU led by as much as 7 in the second half, but just could not hold on, shooting just 30% from the field while being out-rebounded 48-33. Freshman Jamie Braun came off the bench to lead the Hoosiers in scoring with 16 points, while Nikki Smith had 15 and Kim Roberson finished with 11 points. 
The Hoosiers would try and get a win out of their weekend road trip as they headed to Minnesota to take on the Gophers on Sunday. Once again, IU struggled to find their shot on hostile territory. The Hoosiers shot just under 34% from the game as Minnesota went on to win 79-69. to Sarah McKay had her fourth double-double of the season with 13 points and 11 boards. Jamie Braun led the team in scoring for the second straight game with 17. Minnesota was led in scoring by Emily Fox with 23. The Gophers also had three others in double figures. The loss drops IU to 4-9 in conference play and 15-11 and overall, putting them at ninth in the Big Ten with just three games to go in the regular season. Their next two contests will be in the comfort of their very own home here at Assembly Hall versus Illinois and Northwestern. Then they'll finish the season in Happy Valley against Penn State. The Big Ten tournament begins in Indianapolis on March 1st, with subsequent games being played on the 2nd, 4th, and 5th. Tickets for the tournament are currently on sale and range from $12 to $16. We're going to take a short break, but be sure to keep it right here on IUS-TV, Hoosier Sports Night. <laughs> 